one I'd like to call to order and welcome everybody to the September 5th, 2024 commission meeting of the Limestone County Commission. Um, Ellen, would you please call roll? Mr. Samet? Here. Mr. Bartstow? Here. Mr. Gatlin? Here. Mr. Towns? Here. Um, so let's see, Sheriff, you'll lead us in a pledge, please, sir. Thank you, Sheriff. It's always a pleasure having other elected officials in here with us. So thank you for being here with us today. Um, so first thing on the agenda, I'll ask for a motion to approve the minutes from January the 22nd. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Barksdale. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Second on here, I'll ask for a motion to approve claims in the amount of $4,088,724.25. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Second. Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Samet. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, Public hearings, we have oh, conflicts of interest. We've got a conflict of interest. So I asked that, so I guess that's a negative no. Um, public hearing, we have none. Resolutions and orders, I'll ask for a motion to approve a resolution regarding Amendment 1 on March 5th primary for the election to be held in March 2024. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Samet. Aye. Mr. Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Gatlin. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Contracts, agreements, and grants, MOUs. I'll ask for a motion to approve a contract with INET Reference Services. Do I have such a motion? Make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. And discussion wise, this will be really good for our GPS and stuff in Limestone County. So, anybody else get discussion? No more discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. I'm um, second. I'll ask for a motion to approve a contract with L3 Harris Technologies Incorporated in accordance with an inv invitation to bid on 2023-101 for the P25 radios. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Commissioner Samet. I have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Samet. Aye. Mr. Gatlin. Aye. Mr. Barksdale. Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number three, I'll ask for a motion to approve a contract with Bryant Moss as a part-time election specialist to have in the upcoming 24 elections. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Lord, everybody's all over that. And so Commissioner Barksdale made the motion. <laughs> Commissioner Townsend made the second. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Sammy? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Fourth, I'll ask for a motion to approve to apply for Rebuild Alabama's annual grant program in the amount of $281,750, not one zero off, with the county's match of being $15,875. Do I have such a motion? Make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Right, second. Well, I'll go motion with Commissioner Sammy since his district second with Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No di discussion. I'll call for the vote. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Gatlin? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number five, I'll ask for a motion to approve a lease agreement with Canon Financial Services for a copier for EMA. Do I have such a motion? Like the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Mr. Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Number six, I'll ask for a motion to approve and to, to enter into an agreement with J.M. Woods Auction Company Incorporated. This auction is for 10 KW um, T80 trucks and it'll be for two KW pull tractors, uh, 2024 models. Do I have such a motion? I'll make a motion, Mr. Chairman. Motion by Commissioner Samet. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion? And this auction is good, this agreement is good but for both auctions, at, just whichever one we decide to enter into. So, no more discussion, I'll call for the vote. Mr. Salmon? Aye. Mr. Gatlin? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Mr. Barksdale? Aye. Mr. Townsend? Aye. Mr. Gatlin
Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We uh, we have one budget revision in District 3, so I need a motion for the budget revision. I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Everybody, everybody want a second. We're going to go with everybody Commissioner Townsend. Townsend. All right. Any more any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Uh, Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Uh, Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Uh, Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Uh, we have no emergency purchases. No board appointments, no water bids. Personnel action, we have the motion to hire one um, Sarah Whitesell as a corrections officer. This will be effective February 5th, 2024, pending a drug screening. Do I have such a motion? I make a motion. by Commissioner Barksdale. Need a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, merit increases, we have several listed below, so I'll need a motion to approve the merit increases. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All right, we're going to go with Commissioner Samet for a motion, second with Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Samet? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, engineer's report, Mr. Massey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have five subdivisions for your consideration today. Uh, Lakeside Estate Subdivision, second edition. This is a replat of lots one, two, and block two. This is a minor for preliminary and final, affecting those three lots in District 4. Barlow Subdivision, this is a minor for preliminary and final, creating two lots in District 4. Uh, Angela Marie Subdivision, this is a minor for preliminary and final, uh, creating four lots in District 1. Uh, the Martin Estate Subdivision, this is a minor for preliminary and final, uh, creating four lots in District 1. This is the one that the, um, the lady spoke about in the meeting. Uh, I met with her. We've got that figured out. Um, so, and then the flats at Autumn Woods Phase 1. Uh, this is a major subdivision for preliminary approval, creating 52 lots in District 2. Mr. Chairman, do you want me to uh, roll the other one in into it? You can. Go ahead. Okay. Um, and then, uh, re then uh, we have a request to rescind the approval of Franklin Estate Subdivision Phase 1 that was given approval on September 5th uh, and approve Poplar Creek Road Subdivision Minor for Preliminary and Final, creating four lots in District 3 in its place. Okay. I will, um, what we'll do is I'll take the first subdivision list up in one motion, and I'll take the second one up in the next motion since there's two separate things. All right, so I'll ask for a motion to approve the subdivisions, the five that was submitted, and, and for the record, we struck the one off from in the work session. So it was it's off, the public had an agenda copy, it's gone. So, so I'll ask for a motion to approve the five subdivisions submitted by the engineer, Mr. Massey. Make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin. Do I have a second? Second. second by Commissioner Barksdale. Any discussion with any one of the five? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Salmon. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. All right. Motion carries unanimously. And then on the second one, I'll ask for a motion to approve the change in the subdivision on the um, Franklin Estates to Poplar Creek subdivision. So I'll need a motion for that. I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin. Need a second. I'll second. Second by Commissioner Townsend. Any discussion with this one? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin? Aye. Commissioner Townsend? Aye. Commissioner Salmon? Aye. Commissioner Barksdale? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> Other business, I'll ask for a motion to approve to seek financing for five um, Kenworth T480 garbage truck, 28 yards, one T480, 22 yard garbage truck, 10 25 model. Kenworth T880 dump trucks and two, two tw um, 25 model Kenworth T880 low boy tractors. So I'll need a motion to approve to seek financing for those items. I'll make the motion. Motion by Commissioner Gatlin to have a second. Second. Second, second by Commissioner Samet. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Um, so uh, going to the second one, I'll ask for a motion to approve to instruct the county attorney to request an op opinion from the attorney generals regarding um, local laws pertaining to the rock quarries. Do I have such a motion? Motion. motion by Commissioner Barksdale to have a second. Second. Second by Commissioner Gatlin. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. Commissioner Barksdale. Aye. Commissioner Gatlin. Aye. Commissioner Samet. Aye. Commissioner Townsend. <clears throat> 
Uh, motion carries unanimously. And in the other business section here, I meant to bring it up in the work session. And um, I know we've had several questions about this, but I'll, I, will, I want to talk about what, what you want to talk about next week, about the road side of it. Right. But um, Road Building Bridge Fund, I have talked with Emily, and I have had several commissioners. I know Commissioner Salmon has reached out to me about some lighted stop signs, and I think Commissioner Towns has reached out about maybe a guardrail or something. Or something, something to, and I think um, even the Commissioner Gatlin. Everybody's reached out about some safety issues. I think you even had some questions about a stop sign. We've done this sometimes in the past. Um, I'd like to, and I, with Emily's approval, but we would need to do it within this budget cycle. I want, we're going to take $100,000 out of the road bridge fund to do $25,000 per district for safety incentives. That we, uh, we usually get an incentive package back every year from you know, our insurance package. That's generally about a wash to what we get. So y'all come up with some projects in your district you know, where you want to like to spend $25,000 on a a safety sensitive issue and I know that a lot of them are stop signs a lot of them intersections or some maybe a light and maybe put up a security light in intersection or something but whatever we want to y'all come up with something and um, get with Emily on it and um, we'll just we'll, we'll bring that back into a meeting to vote on it but I just wanted to discuss that that's what we're looking at um, we've done this in the past so if I know that I know I've had several people ask about intersections things like that so I think it'd be a great idea because I've got several high accident intersections that you know, if we can light them up, if we can can do just something to to bring it to the folks' attention, especially out of towners, you know, that come into the area and are not familiar with it, it I think it helps. But I think it'd be a great idea. Well, you know, well, you know, safety. I mean, I've always, you know, that's one of the things I've always preached on with safety on these issues. Now I know that we all, mm -hmm. you know, really want to be safety about things, but that's a that's just something that we have done in the past. And I had got with Emily on it, and she said that we, could, but we'll have to, you know, go through the process. But that's just something I wanted to put out to the public that I want y'all to come up with this project on, and we'll go from there. Um, so, and I, I know, and I, I know that Commissioner Barksdale has asked some questions about some road issues that we have after the recent freezes and all this, that, and the other. And next week, I'm gonna get with him and have some conversations about, you know, if we have any reserve and local bridge fund money or something to maybe helping out to try to get some things fixed up. To, I know we've got, we're going to get behind after the weather we've had. So, but anyways, I just want y'all to, to be, y'all want y'all to be aware of that, and those y'all come up with some stuff on that. So. All right, so moving on, we have no executive session. Report of officers, um, Commissioner Sammy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd just li like to mention that uh, now I have road, two roads closed, not only Sand Springs, but Sharp Road also. And uh, while I had a bridge, a small culvert to collapse on it, it's not fallen completely in yet, but it's right out on the verge. It's held together with toothpicks, I think, right now. I don't know. It was. One of those old WPA bridges that were built in the 30s or 40s, and uh, they didn't put a lot of steel in them. I know the concrete was had creek gravel in it. So, so anyway, uh, but I'm going to take that opportunity to set in on Sharp Road and uh, probably plow it up and uh, build a new road there while we while we got the traffic off of it. Uh, also, like I said, I, I, I want to thank Mark for working on that bridge project, that grant. Uh, I know you had a deadline to get it in. You were pushed Friday, so I appreciate that. And also the conditions of our roads. All of North Alabama has been hit hard with this ice. I don't know uh, it's going to be costly. It's not going to be an overnight fix. But uh, I'd just like to ask folks to keep in mind uh, the area, you know, the devastation that we have had and keep it in mind and maybe slow down and respect these these areas until we can get them fixed. Mr. Chairman, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Samick. Mr. Barkstead. Well, we're just address, addressing road issues like the rest of these guys, so just bear with us. Uh, what's important is that you call uh, a hazard in, like Placing it on Facebook doesn't necessarily mean that I'm aware of it. So it needs to be called into the office. And if nobody answers, leave it on the record recorder, and we'll get to it immediately when we realize there is an issue. You, you done? That's all I got. Thank you, Bingo. <laughs> um, Mr. Gatlin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think we've all got the same issues with road situations, especially after the hard freeze, and it's don't deteriorate and get worse. Is is we still have rain coming? Had a big crowd this morning. Uh, brought Corey people to uh, 
their views. I think us moving forward to the good AG opinion is probably our best way to go forward direction. So I uh, appreciate Drew getting on that and, and kind of get those questions answered for us and kind of give us what kind of direction we need to go if we can go. They will have some answers in the future. That's all I got, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Gallen. Commissioner Townsend. Yeah, on roads, uh, I think the last count I had 22 that's got some damage to them. Uh, some worse than others. Uh, we're still riding roads trying to figure out that that number's probably going to climb. So uh, Mark and Hunter, I think, is going to try to help divide and conquer on the whole county and see if we can't come up with a plan on uh, trying to address this issue. Issue. My guys are out. <clears throat> a lot of these roads that we got big major spots, we'll go ahead and take. We're taking that off, and we're just putting Crusher Run over it to kind of seal the the base. And uh, if I could, everybody just you know. Pay attention to them. They're out working hard, trying to do what we can. I want to thank the engineering department for sending his guys out because they've helped us patch a lot of potholes in the last week, and we got a lot more. Uh, also, Mark, on the uh, the floodplain stuff, when that documentation comes out, you're going to email it to us and get us the, the one that's... Yeah, I, I would, what you currently have yep. is what I have sent to Office of Water Resources oh. for approval. We, we um, can, but as soon as I know whether or not they have any revisions that they right. request, I'll let you guys know. So we can. Um, so that then we'll 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 put it out okay. for the public. I just want to make sure before we send anything out, we can or whatever. So, but anyway, but uh, had a big crowd this morning. It was a big crowd, probably the biggest one I've had since I've been here. Uh, they had a lot of a lot of good ideas. Uh, I know it's a it's a whole lot of things going on in the county right now that's uh, hot topics. But I want them to know that you know we are working. On it. I promise you that rock quarry has been in our office for several months now that we've, you know, we've, we've had to deal with this. So we're going to work on that. And then, of course, this floodplain stuff, you know, that's a, that's something that we've been talking a lot about. So hopefully we're going to come up with a decision on, on that stuff. So that's all I got. Thank you, Commissioner Townsend. Um, first of all, I want to thank you. Like I said, thank everybody for coming. I mean, I know that generally speaking, we have our few loyal people that come every month. Mr. Lord is one of them. He's usually here every month, um, every week. But I mean, I want to thank everybody for coming. Um, you know, it's it's really, you know, we understand passion and we understand all that. And we are here all trying to serve the public best we can. And we want to thank everybody for coming in. Like I said, in the, I know emails, phone calls, whatever. Just email us, call us, whatever. We'd be glad to talk to you. And I, you know, I have we have a couple of visitors here with today, Mr. Lee Garrison from the Fraser Lanier Company is here, and um, we also have Mr. Ethan Woodruff. He's working with the North Alabama Zoo Association. He's working on trying with the zoo stuff. So I want to thank him for being here today. And we also have the L G three L three L three Harris is representative here with us today too. And um, so you know, it, and plus we always have our sheriff with us. So I thank him for being here with us too. And so um, you know, it's always great to have people in here supporting us. Um, so, anyways, uh, I want to thank everybody. Um, like I said, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in the county, and I know I've, you know, I've had a lot going on in my life, and I want to thank these guys. We sit up here and take a public meeting sometime when we, you know, and we want to. I know that we're all here. It's like today. Um, I've had my phone's been going off the wall over here. It's kind of gotten public. I'll let it know now. My wife's father passed away yesterday unexpectedly, oh, and my family's been hit by tragedy all the way around this year. And um, you know, he passed away peacefully and, and lived a great life. He was a great man. So um, um, I'm going to leave here as soon as I get out of here, and I'm going with my wife and be with my wife and my son. And my, you know, my, he, you know, it's hard. You had to tell a, you know, it's hard to tell a ten year old son sometimes. You know that you have, you know, he's lost both grandfathers in here in just a few months. And um, you know, I, that's that's the disadvantage of having a son late in life. You know, I had them. You know, my when my other kids were young, you know, they got to see. You know, they got grown before they're. You know, and you know, and I mean, I was blessed. I was, I was grown when my grandparents passed. My grandfather's passed away. You know, but you know, a ten-year-old son. It's sometimes it's hard to explain. You know, hey, uh, you know, you know, and you, you tell him that he's lost a brother this year, and he's lost two grandfathers. You know, and I mean, it's a, it's a hard place to be. But I mean, I felt I needed to be here because the, the citizens of Limestone County put me here, and I'm thankful for that opportunity, and um, I'm thankful for these four guys that stand behind me, and. And for that being said, we will adjourn until 9 a.m. on Tuesday, February the 20th, 2024, Clinton Street Courthouse Annex right here. Thank you, everybody. And Monday is a holiday, so that's why we're on Tuesday.